and welcome to the beautiful campus that is Newberry College. My name is Clarissa Oric, and I am one of the admissions counselors here. Behind me is our Welcome Center, full of admissions and financial aid staff to help you through your enrollment process. Now let's go inside and start the first step of applying to college. So the first thing you will do is go to www.newberry.edu. Once you arrive on our landing page, you'll see a small tab on the right-hand side that says Next Steps. Click on that and you'll see the Apply button to complete our application. This will take you to our Wolfden portal to begin your application. Once you arrive on the page, you'll see a different variety of applications to complete. For the purposes of this video, we will be focusing on the first time student application. This will be for students who are still in high school and have never officially started college as a full first time student. Once you click on the first time student application, you'll be taken to a new window that will display all the requirements needed to complete your application for admissions. Click on the click here to start filling out this application to begin your application. Once you arrive on the new page, scroll all the way to the very bottom and hit next page on the bottom right side. Now you'll be able to begin filling out your personal information. The first section will be mainly about yourself, so your name, email, and your address. So now you'll begin to be able to fill out your personal information, starting with your name and your email address. It is important to take note that with your email address, be sure to use your personal email because once you graduate from high school, that high school email address will be deactivated. Continue on down through the application with all your personal information such as citizenship, race, and ethnicity. When you arrive to the military service section, this will only apply to you if you personally have been in the military. This does not mean your parents. Once that is complete, click on the next page button at the bottom right. Now you'll fill out your permanent address information. As you scroll through, you'll also end up completing when you plan to enroll at Newberry College. The first section, anticipated academic and role year, is very important to look at. The year 2020-2021 is for students wanting to enter in fall 2020 or spring 2021 semesters. If you are a first time freshman, you will actually want to fill out the 2021-2022 section. This means that if you're graduating high school in May or June of 2021, you will start classes in the fall semester of 2021. So when you go to your academic enroll term, you will select the fall semester. For your enrollment status, you'll be a full-time student here at Newberry College. For your program of interest, this is going to be something that you were planning on majoring in in college. When you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see there are a lot of different options. If you are a student who is unsure of what they want to decide, you can click on the undecided option as well. When you get to the will you be a resident or a commuter, you will want to click the drop down arrow and select resident if you plan on living on campus at Newberry College. Continue on down to fill out your high school information as well as when you plan to graduate. If you are attending dual enrollment classes in college at your local technical college or university, please enter in that information in the college information section. Once that is completed, scroll down to the bottom on the right side and click next page. Next, we will want to get to know about you a little bit more and the activities and interests that you have. So start filling out the current activity sections with things that you are currently involved in in high school and the interests you are involved in as well. Next, we will want your parent and guardian information. If you would like to put in your father or your mother's information, you do not need both. In case we need more materials from you or if we need in contact with your parents to assist you with your application process. Scroll on down and hit the next page step once you are finished. The next question will be, will you be requesting financial aid? That answer will always be yes. You will definitely want assistance in applying for scholarships and grants to help pay for your college education. Now you will have an open area to list any other high school, college, or outside organizations which you've been a part of. This could be any honor societies or any other additional clubs you may be involved in in high school. You will also be given an opportunity to list any leadership or service positions you would like us to know about as well as part of your application. 
the next section will give us an option for you to tell us what other schools you may be considering as well, so that way we know what all you are interested in as well. Once those three areas are complete, scroll down and click the next page button. You will not be taken to the review page to review all your answers that you have submitted into the application before you submit it to make sure everything is academically correct. You will also be warned of anything that was left out that is required to submit your application. After scrolling through and reviewing all your information, you will be able to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the application, type in your email address so that way you will be receiving a confirmation email of that your application has been submitted. Once you are ready, click the Submit Application button at the very bottom. Well, now that your application has been submitted, it will be processed the next morning after your submission date and the counselor will be in contact with you about next steps. Congratulations on completing your first step to enrolling at Newberry College. Now you will want to reach out to your admissions counselor to find out what else you still need to turn in to complete your application. And of course, come visit us here on campus to find out what it really means to be a Newberry Wolf.